Hello everyone, the Son of the West again. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Gospel of Thomas via the psychedelic experience. Okay now, boys and girls, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The Gospel of Thomas is a mystic document, and like many Gospels, it requires a mystic awakening before its true message can be fully realized. This is why it is so important to reveal the missing link in true worship to be the psychedelic experience. This is indeed is the is true for other gospels as well. I've mentioned before about how Moses and the exiles were favored with manna along their journey through the wilderness. Journey through the wilderness, which is pasture, which the descriptions of manna fit psychedelic mushrooms exactly. And by changing the true mind opening communion to bread and wine the true way to find God within has been hidden this truth is very clear in the Gospel of Thomas's number 39 66 102 109 and number 4 in number 39 Jesus said the Pharisees and the scholars have taken the keys of knowledge and have hidden them they have not entered, nor have they allowed those who want to enter to do so. In number 66, number 39, they're talking about how they've hidden the true fruit of knowledge from you so that that way you don't eat the fruit of knowledge and learn uh, the truth about the things that they're telling you. Okay. Uh, number 66, Jesus said, show me the stone that the builders rejected. That is the keystone. He's talking about the use of what has been deemed the forbidden fruit uh, in order to um, open your mind and, and become one with the divine will. Uh, number 102, Jesus said, Damn the Pharisees! They are like a dog sleeping in the cattle manger. The dog neither eats nor lets the cattle eat. In number 109, Jesus said, The Father's kingdom is like a person who had a treasure hidden in his field. Field, pasture, treasure, <laughs> but did not know it. <laughs> and when he died, he left it to his son. The son did not know about it either. He took over the field and sold it. The buyer went plowing, discovered the treasure, and began to lend wealth to whomever he wished. Remember now, Jesus termed wealth as spiritual knowledge or knowledge of truth. That was Jesus' wealth. He had a wealth of that knowledge. In number 108, Jesus said, Whoever drinks from my mouth will become like me. I myself shall become that person, and the hidden things will re be revealed to him. Drinks from his mouth, He's speaking about how his teachings of the psychedelic experience can awaken you and give you the Christ consciousness. I will become that person. You will become Christ by eating psychedelic mushrooms. You will have the same mindset and the same goal as he had to free everyone in this world. Okay, To understand that consuming psychedelic mushrooms are the key to unlocking the hidden true message that the Gospels really are, is to have the key to the gates of heaven and here I am giving it to you freely will you accept this gift I have tried to show this truth to many people but it seems that they are too busy to even contemplate that they may be headed in the wrong direction and have become slaves of society uh, because the level of comfort that society provides is a difficult thing to overcome uh, nobody wants to be uncomfortable, yet finding the truth is definitely an uncomfortable prospect. Only until you get used to it, that is. But I guess that is to be expected, especially when you read the Gospel of Thomas number 64, in which Jesus said, A person was receiving guests. When he had prepared the dinner, he sent his slave to invite the guests. The slave went to the first and said to that one, my master invites you, that one said. Some merchants owe me money. They are coming to me tonight. 
I have to go and give them instructions. Please excuse me for dinner. The slave went to another and said to that one, My master has invited you. That one said to the slave, I have bought a house and I have been called away for a day. I shall have no time. The slave went to another and said to that one, My master invites you. That one said to the slave, My friend is to be married, and I am to arrange the banquet. I shall not be able to come. Please excuse me from dinner. The slave went to another and said, That one said to that one, My master invites you. But that one said to the slave, I have bought an estate, and I am going to collect the rent. I shall not be able to come. Please excuse me. The slave returned and said to his master, Those whom you invited to dinner have asked to be excused. The master said to his slave, Go out on the street and bring back whomever you find to have dinner. Buyers and merchants will not enter the places of my father. Eat dinner, psychedelic mushrooms, to look within and enter the places of my father. Do not allow worldly concerns to prevent you from finding and becoming one with God. This leads me to saying number four. Jesus said, The person old in days won't hesitate to ask a little child, seven days old, about the place of life, and that person will live. For many of the first will be last, and will become a single one. Psilocybe mushrooms become fully matured in seven days, and will become a single one means one with the divine will, completely committed to that path and task, no longer torn between their spiritual goal and the goals of society. This in itself is the very task which psilocybe mushrooms are perfect tool for. The little child seven days old is code or mystic language to describe a fully grown and matured psilocybe mushroom. Ask about the place of life is code or mystic language to describe eating the mushroom. Asking to find heaven and will find salvation and will escape the world of death. Hence the term, will live. So, I said it before, and I'll say it again. Psilocybe mushrooms are the key. Only once you learn how to grow them and consume them and find God within yourself will you find the salvation that your spirit has been searching for. Overcome the control of society. Learn to think for yourself and awaken. The choice is yours. I, this is all I can do for you. I can tell you the truth, whether you accept it or not, is your choice. God gave you that choice. Learn all you can. Read the Gospel of Thomas. Read the other Gnostic Gospels. Research reincarnation. Research uh, psychedelic experience. You'll find that at a level 5 experience, people uh, compare it to enlightenment, or uh, they, they know an all-powerful presence. Um, to which they compare God or, or uh, enlightenment itself. So learn to think for yourself. Seek the inner meanings. The only way to really do it is to have the psychedelic experience in which you find God within yourself. Uh, so good luck. It's the greatest experience you can ever have in your entire life. It's the greatest experience I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, so all I want to do is be able to show you that. And because to, to truly find God, it's not, it's not describable. I, I, there's no way I can put words to it uh, to make you understand the feeling. Um, because there's only one way. And you got to have that feeling yourself. So live it every day. Live it every moment. And you'll find your way. Good luck, brothers and sisters.